The Buddhist will tell you, all life is pain. Pain comes from always wanting things. It's the wanting.
Welcome to the Dreams of Consciousness podcast. If you'd be so kind, would you mind introducing yourselves? Jonathan Aver, vocals and guitar. And hey, my name is Terry Savastano. I'm the guitar player and I do backing vocals. Chuck Conlon, drums. John Morris, bass. And the band that you guys play for is? Come to Come grief. Come to grief. <laughs> uh, hailing from southern New Hampshire and Maine yeah. and parts unknown. <laughs> Originally from Massachusetts, right? Well, the band Grief was originally from Massachusetts, from Lynn, Massachusetts specifically. But I moved to New Hampshire in uh, 1999, and uh, Country Grief is, is pretty much from New Hampshire. Yeah. yeah, we were not really associated with the Boston music scene whatsoever. <laughs> well, except for when we when we talk about the recording, I think you guys have a, a few guests who who stop by on this album. Absolutely. Yeah, no, I'm just being a little, you know, just being a smart ass. <laughs> and how would you describe Come to Grief? What kind of music would you say you guys make? That's a really good question, man. You know, it's definitely varying with a lot of influences that Jonathan's bringing to the band, a lot of influences. You know, you get older, you listen to a lot of different things. You have different feelings, different, you know, situations in your life. It's not really just pure sludge, you know? I mean, I could talk about this thing so I'm blue in the face all day. It's really, really not. It's got a lot of, you know, some some straight doom elements, some death metal elements, some rock elements, I guess, you know. And it's and it's further evolving, too. Yeah. So it's very, very difficult yeah. to to categorize, I think. Yeah, it's really not a genre. You know? Everything that we like, I guess. Yeah. Is what we is what we, you know, we listen to a lot and we can try to incorporate that. Yep. Maybe not even try them, trying, it just happens. Yeah, yeah, organically. We don't, you know, things happen. That's what we do. And would you say that the the other elements that you have coming into your music is what separates Come to Grief from Grief? Or what you're doing as Grief? Yeah, man, I think so. I think, you know, it's just, not, you know, now, that now that we're on a subject of a situation like that, I'll talk about one thing. Uh, you know, in Grief, you had a lot, a lot of feedback, a lot of, you know, you know, five, five, ten seconds of feedback and stuff like that. It was kind of part of what we did. And when I started Come to Grief, if you listen to our first record, The Worst of Times, there's very, very little feedback right. on that. There's more of empty space. Right. So I think that's one facet that we try to, you know, a little change, a little into a, a different direction. And as a result, you know, you just keep going yeah. Yeah. in that different direction or whatever direction we're yeah. Going in, man. You know, I really, really oh, just being know. older too, right? Being yeah. older too, yeah. being you know, yeah. be, be, you know, not 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 being a, a drunken piece of shit. Excuse my language, but anyway, not you know, <laughs> you know trying to straighten your life out. You know what yeah. I mean? And, and trying to focus on things and be good instead of falling on the floor and, and being a mess. You know, and, and all that. You know, yeah. I, I and, and like I said, man, a lot of things just happen. They just happen. It's not like I'm trying to do anything. They just happen. Yeah, it's right. just, we're just riding it, man. You know, whatever this thing does, that's what we do. You know, we just we're just going for it. Yeah, yeah. we never have a conscious you know, a, a decision or a, a conversation of, hey, let's make this sound sound like this. Terry will come up with yeah. something that just comes from him purely and shows yeah, up, man. and then we just mold Go it into there. something, and that's it. That's how it comes out, and you know. No, yeah, that's what it is. Not trying to do anything. Yeah, we don't think of a genre yeah. or think of like, oh. man, this needs to be slower or, or this right. needs to be sludgier, let's say. Why? Right? Why? Why? It's just, why? these are the songs we're, we're writing. We got to adhere, we gotta adhere to a certain thing. We have to do this. We have to do that. We do whatever the fuck we want. You know what I mean? Whatever comes out, whatever we feel, whatever, you know, and, and whatever it may be. I mean, I'm loving it. I really, really am. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's freedom. It really is. I'm really, really able to express myself with what we're doing in, in a big way. Now, I could go on about this all day, you know, but it, it, it's a very personal record that we just did. The lyrics are very, very personal. The experiences that happen are very, very personal. And it's great to be able to do that. It, it's, it's awesome to be able to do that. Yeah. So, yeah. I should mention that we have sort of talked before, uh, back in 20, I think 2017, we did a Q&A which you guys recorded for me and which I released as a previous podcast. Uh, and that was before, I think it was before the fistula split. Yeah, I re yeah, okay, cool. Because when, you know, when Shannon said that, uh, Dreams of Consciousness, I remember, yeah, it sounds really familiar. Okay, cool, right on. Yeah. And so we don't have to go over the entire history of Come to Grief. Uh, people can go back and listen to that podcast. But do you want to catch me up on what you guys have been up to in the last five years? <laughs> go ahead. 
Yeah, well, on. the last five years have been, uh, you know, the last <laughs> yeah. two years at the very least have been, you know, pretty turbulent for us and everybody else. And but five years, got five years ago, we just reported the, the worst of times and we just got back from Europe. Five then, years, man. Five you know, years. A lot's yeah. happened. Yeah, man. It's like, you know, it's, you know, I'm on, I'm on my phone, you know, memories of three years ago. It's like right around this time we, we, yeah. we toured, you know what I mean? You know, let's see. We did a U.S. tour with Fistula to support the split record that we did. That was 13 shows. You know, Pray for the end. And then we did the Pray for the End. Pray for the End. We'll talk about that a little bit really quick, okay? Pray for the End is kind of like our, that was our COVID record. That's like our secret record, you know? <laughs> we released it. We re restarted my old label, Grievance Records, and we put out Pray for the End, 500 copies of a 12 inch record, three songs, and then COVID happened. And yeah, we you know, like some shows. We, yeah, we were supposed to support that release, yeah, the record. And then, like, two months later, COVID hit. Yeah, yeah man. We had shows with Barishi, friends of ours from Vermont, and we were going to, you know, go out and do a bunch of things. We were, you know, maybe, you know, whatever, Japan, or sure. we had some pretty lofty goals that we, everybody did. Everybody did. And then the, yeah. world, the world just fell apart. And, but as a result, right? Yeah. We, sold, we sold 500 records through mail order during a pandemic without doing shows it's a mind blower you know so that's kind of like the secret record you know yeah. what i mean and it's out of print now and we'll talk about that too with with, with tl and, and and blah 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 and all that but yeah but you know, hindsight it really pushes the fit because we had a lot of the material written yes for when the world dies yes but we were so busy playing shows and trying to tour that we didn't really focus as hard so yeah catch 22 with the, with the pandemic we just sat down and got that finished finally which was well needed and we're super psyched the, the, yeah, you know, after it, a lot yeah. of downtime. Yeah, but, yeah. And prior to pray for the end, we were out with I Hate God, which we are now. Yes. And after through the say, you know, so we did that, and we did the official thing. Right. What else did we do? I'm trying to think over five years. Oh boy, yeah. So, like, yeah. We so went, much happened. We, we we went to we we went down to Austin, Texas twice. Oh, yeah. We did, we yeah. did the uh, Maryland Death yeah. Fest. Yeah, we yeah, we did the yeah, the we Austin. Did we stuff. did the Austin Tara Fest. We did MDF. We did which was fantastic with the Church of Misery and. Boy, 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 you know what I mean? Yeah. John, John is, is, is a booking agent in Maine, and I mean, he, he uh, helped us out big time. He's been a part of our team for, for quite a while. Now he's playing bass in the band, and I mean, he's just booked out unbelievable shows. We did a sleep after party that was sold out. We did that. That yeah. was an amazing show. We played with Interamer up in uh, Portland, Maine. Anyone listening to this, I mean, Portland, Maine, Bellevue, Vermont, come to, New, come to New England, seriously. Touring bands, you know, make the trek, man. If you're in New York or Boston, Come a couple hours, man, and, and like play New England, man. Well worth it. It's awesome. There's a lot of people that, that are very, well, very, enth very enthousi uh, enthusiastic about the music and everything, and it'll be worthwhile. Yeah. Just to say that really quick, you know. Right. Moving right along, yeah. you know, the three songs were, were, were just things that we were working on in the spare time. Now, you got to understand the whole thing, basically. Why we didn't come out with a full length sooner is because we were just getting offer after offer after offer to play shows. And we love to play live. You know, you want to play MDF? Yes, we do. You want to play here? You want to play there? So what we would have to do is shift to, shift gears and go into an, a live rehearsal kind of situation where all we're doing is just rehearsing our live set. So we had to push on the back burner. You know, and we did that too long. Yeah, we did that too long. And as a result, it's like, you know, we got to get a new fucking record out. We have to. It's imperative that we get a new record out. We have three songs that we've been working on in the meantime. Let's just record them, put a goddamn record out. Right. So we got at least right. something out. And then COVID happened, and then we had all this time. And it's like, well, now we can definitely get a full length going, man. Right. You know, but uh, we're trying to be safe and not and, and figure out what's going on with this whole COVID thing. Yeah, and man. finally, last year, in the beginning of the year, we've said, fuck this. Let's yeah. get together. Get start done. just hammering out these songs that we had had for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Terry, yeah. Terry, and I, because of COVID, he and I just got together in the room first to get you know the drums down. We had started. Yeah, they a lot recorded of stuff the guitar and, and and drums together. It was and awesome. Set tracks and I put yeah, vocals over those like, at my house. Yeah. Man. And uh, trying to trying to navigate the COVID, right? Yeah. By the mean? time we got into the together in the room as a band, yeah. the four of us, we all kind of had all the material all all hashed. Yeah, it was out. unreal, man. Sixty percent, seventy percent. I, 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 I yeah, really, 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 really. I had a feeling that would happen because we just had it so pent up and everything. We were just yeah. so ready to go, you know. And it did, man. We just like smoked it, man. It was really, really good. Hey, you know, it's strange, man. You know, I mean, I, I want to play, I want to tour, I want to do this, want to do that, but we couldn't. So, oh, well, here's our time. And we did it. And, you know, everything fell into place as far as where we recorded it with, who we recorded it with. We really, really lucked out, man. I know you want to touch on that subject, but I mean, yeah, everything, that's pretty much what happened, man. Yeah. 
Was that the sure. first time you worked with Kurt? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely, man. None of us ever had. I mean, none of us ever really had any inkling that we ever would. You know what I mean? It's a pretty, very, very high tier, you know, uh, situation, man. Yeah. I mean, you know, record upon record upon record. I mean, you know, just countless classics. And the, the production work is just what I've always wanted. I mean, you know. And, and, you know, yeah, the main reason I, I think we chose him at the end of the day, we were looking at a few different places, yeah. was he could pull off us recording live. Mm, yeah. That's what Brief used to do, right? Yes. Uh, with Bill Miller. And yeah, that's yeah, kind yeah. of what we wanted. Yeah, I, don't want to dis- I don't want to discredit Bill, Bill T. Miller, a very, very, very good dear friend yeah. of mine my whole life. And I recorded some of the greatest records in my life with him, Disrupt Unrest, all the grief stuff, you know, but... This what we did with Bill is we recorded live. You can't record live. You do two guitars, bass, and drums, and then we put the vocals and the leads on afterward. Did the same thing with Kurt. And it was it was, cool. it, it was astounding. Now, I gotta be honest with you. You know, recording with, with Kurt. You know, right away you think you're gonna maybe you know add like all flourishes and stuff. Maybe we'll add a little cello here, or maybe we'll add like a female voice here or there. And I had like kind of like these lofty goals of maybe what I wanted to do, but yeah. no, no, it just came out pure <laughs> fucking straight up boom, 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 boom. But definitely, you know, I mean, if you're familiar with the work that I've done in my life, man, I mean, you know, this really is like the most brutal fucking record I ever did. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's a mind blower. I was like, holy shit, I wasn't anticipating that. I'm pleased, very, very pleased with it. But I, I thought it would be a little more, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. yeah, it was just like yeah. We went shit, in, man. we recorded our parts. Yeah. We recorded the entire album, all, all the music, yeah. all the instrumental parts. Yeah, in in less than two days. Unbelievable. Some of the songs were a single take. Unbelievable. I couldn't yeah, get over it. We'll talk about each song. Come like you, come like you. I think we did that one take. We yeah, did one take. I mean, I mean, like 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 that. Oh, let's just give it a fucking shot. See what happens. And dude, that that's done. That song is done. Right? There was yeah. some shit we just. Yeah, it was, it was weird. Not, you're not going to get it any better. I mean, you can do it all day, but you know that sounded pretty good. But let's stick with that, right? And when we finished, we thought, okay, now we're going to end up going re-recording, yeah, 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 recording yeah. more guitar tracks. Right. Kurt was like, no, I don't want to do that. Yeah, and we're like, really? Okay. And yeah. then when we heard the end result, we made a lot. Yeah, it sounded great. You, so. you, you know, you know, the world, everybody knows what what he does. Everybody knows his production techniques. I mean, you know, I mean, how you know, like remember that that, that you sent me that video how to record heavy guitars? Yeah, uh, you yeah, know, yeah, what I mean, yeah, right yeah, off the bat, yeah. I was like, oh man. I mean, I walk in, he's got 100 watt marshals, 50 watt marshals. Like, shit, okay, I want that one. Can I use this one? Can I use yeah, the white yeah. one? Can I use the red one? You know, I mean, he, he, he knows, you know, obviously custom tailored to the kind of band yeah. that we are. So yeah, yeah. we really, really lucked out. Okay. Now, yeah. we worked our ass off, man. All the fucking money that we made from touring and putting our own records out and starting Grievance Records again. We saved every yeah. little penny that we made, man. Yeah, and that's, right how we were, that's how we were able to record with him. Man. We did that on our own. That's a huge, gigantic accomplishment for us you know what i mean and we're super proud of it and i hope we get to do it again i hope we get to do our yeah. last record with him as well yeah it was, yeah it was, we got really lucky we set a we lot did, of goals and we said hey can we do this yeah man yeah man yeah yeah we got we, in touch yeah. with kurt and he gave us the thumbs up and we're like wow we could we could do this, this man we can do this and man. even yeah. with the cover yeah. art we, we wanted to get in touch with paulo girardi in italy yeah and we're like, let's reach out to him, see if we could do it. Yeah, and yeah, he was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, let's do it. And, yeah, let's touch on that a little bit too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Terry, yeah. we sent Terry. Terry sent him uh, uh, an explanation about what he wanted to do with the cover, and he did everything we wanted. Oh, and, and above and, and beyond. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It just you know, we're like again, man. You know, we're, we're just so 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 fucking lucky. I mean, the best cover art we can get, the best producer we can get, the best studio. <laughs> we, everything we did is just. The best we could do, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. We're really, really super, you know, just the accomplishments, you know. We're really, really proud of what we've done, you know. And people seem to be receptive to what we're doing. And I'm really, really, really happy and super thankful for everyone's support, you know. It's emotional because we, we break our ass, man. We're working really fucking hard doing this, man, you know. We're older dudes, man. These guys got kids, you know. You got businesses. You got bills to pay it. It's really difficult, man. A lot of running around, a lot of traveling, a lot of heartbreak, a lot of sweating, a lot of worrying, you know? So uh, I want to backtrack a little bit. Uh, going back to the EP, did you record that with Kurt as well? No. No, we recorded that with a friend of ours, our friend Eric. Uh, his name's Eric Sauter. He plays in Magnetar. Uh, he plays in a band called Magnetar. He's from Manchester, New Hampshire. He has a studio 
that we, we actually recorded Take Me In My Sleep on, on the Fish Soul Split. We recorded that song with him as well. At his original location. At his original yeah. location, right, right. Yeah, he's got a nice studio. Yeah, it's called Blackheart Sound. That's his studio. Oh, Blackheart yeah. Sound. Man. Yeah, great guy. Great. He, you know, he's coming up in that, you know. Young kid, but he puts some hard. He's work rising, in, man. You know? He's a he's yeah. a very hard worker as well, man. I was in a band called Conclave. I mean, we could talk about the yeah. lineage and so on and so forth. But they recorded their last record with Derek, and as he's done some notable recordings, man. He's yeah. on his way up, man. Yeah. You know, yeah, he recorded the new Body Void. Yeah, yeah that's right. That's yeah. right. That's so. right. Exactly. Actually, uh, he was in Body Void, right? They did that like that live, live that live, that live video, video. Yeah. right? And he, he played bass for them and, and shit. Yeah. Now Eric's great, man. We like him more. He's a really, really good friend, man. But I mean, you know, we 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 had it in our budget and we had it in our yeah our our means. Yeah, we wanted to try something different. Yeah, anyway. yeah. Like the first, for the worst yeah. of times, we went to Glenn. Glenn Smith, Glenn Smith, oh, Glenn. superb, superb. Yeah, for Stones in Cambridge, and, and yeah. he did an amazing job. But yeah, we just kind of we, yeah. we want to kind of do different things. Yeah, we were focused yeah. on the live recording. I mean, you know, oh, yeah. we, we, we can't afford to, we can't afford to record with Eddie Kramer and, and Electric Lady <laughs> Studios. You know what I mean? So we and we we can't go to Chicago and record with Steve Albini. We can't afford that either. So yeah. anyway. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? No, no, very, very pleased. I, I mean, I, this is like the greatest recording experience of, of, of my life, and I hope we get to do it again. I really, really do. I hope we get a budget for our next record, and we, we were able to do that again. It's great. The town of Salem in general, too, just walking around, smoking weed, yeah. just looking at old, old shit. You know, a very, very, very nice atmosphere to record our type of music, so... <laughs>
So the album that we're talking about is called When the World Dies, and it will be available on May 20th of this year through Translation Lost Records. Yep. Tell me a little bit about the songwriting for the album, and if the way that you guys write songs has changed at all in the last five years. Yeah, man. Um, I live in New England, and January and February can be pretty tough months, man. It can get like a couple feet of snow. So where I live, I have a little loft like area that I can go up and I got a little practice martial lamp and I just draw the shades and just jam and, and just, you know, things just come out. Like I've been telling you, man, you know, it just happens. I don't plan on, oh, I got to I got to I got to write a riff like this. I got to write, write a riff like that. No, nah, man. I just put that goddamn guitar on and just, okay, wow, that's pretty cool. Sure. You know, fuck man. Make sure you send that to Jonathan, man. You know, well, do check this out, you know, that kind of thing. And, and listening to other types of music and being older and stuff like that. I mean, I want to incorporate maybe a little more harmony, maybe a little more of this, a little yeah. more of that. And Not a, little, into a, genre. a little more thought, you know I mean? Like, like for instance, if I do the lead, maybe these guys can do a different rhythm under the lead versus me doing the lead over the same rhythm, you know, yeah. you change it a little bit, you know, I mean, or whatever, uh, just, just just adding little things. I mean, why the fuck not? You know, why not, man? I, I haven't drank in 10 years, man. So my, my memory is a little, I can remember things now. Whereas before I just, uh, I can't remember that. Yeah. I, don't know <laughs> Keep it simple. I don't know what the fuck I just did. Now it's like, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I can, you know, you can expand on shit. Really? I, mean, I listen to like Southern rock now. I listen to fucking some prog stuff. I mean, I never listen. I just listen to stuff that I, I wouldn't listen to 10 20 years yeah. ago, you know? So, I mean, things come out, you know, things come out. Yeah, you're driving to work, you're listening to something, yeah, great. And then the next night I'm rehearsing or playing, playing and, and oh, wow, that's yeah. pretty cool. Wow, whatever, whatever. you know, I, I didn't intend to do that, but it came out and, and maybe we can incorporate it in what we do, you know? But just the general expansion, just the general, we want to, everything we do, we want to go that way. You know, we everything that's the songwriting, the subject matter, the artwork, the production, the general presentation of the band. We just want to just right. just go up and be good. We want to be good. We want to sound good. We want to look good. Super important. Always putting one hundred percent. Super important. Super <laughs> you know? important. We go out of our way. We break our balls. We make huge, huge sacrifices with our families and time and and shit. So you got to make it work, dude. You got to you got to you got to make it work. You got to no matter what. I you think know. definitely the material on the new album is is a step forward. Yes, um, no question about from it. From even the stuff we did previously, or even mm. the brief legacy behind yeah. it. You know, yeah. I think when, in the beginning, I, and I don't think it was ever intentional. Yeah. But if you look at like the worst times, it fits in a little bit closer yeah. to that. Like it was, there was that kind of outline. I think we yeah. moved beyond that. But I don't think there's ever been Terry has a very distinct, specific, unique style. Also, yes, yeah, guitar wise, yeah. that he. You'll hear sounds like oh, time. there's this sludge and doom. Obviously, yeah. that's the, the, the root of a lot of this stuff. But I'll hear like rock oriented yeah. stuff and yeah. that hardcore sounds even will come yeah. out at times and things that kind of come out of, you know, just it will all be mixed into this one blended really well. And Terry's new song. All of a sudden, he'll be like, This is my wow. new song. We'll be like, and sometimes, I mean, there was, over yeah, the years, there was Chuck and I will just sit there and Terry will come into this yeah. practice space with a new song. Yeah. And start playing it, and the two of us will be looking at each other. Holy yeah. shit! That's not what we were intending, but yeah, well, that's cool. I mean, it's awesome. another new element. Of and you know what? what that's doing, that's you know? what makes it fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's always interesting. It's not set forth of with these rules, yeah, and, 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 like we talked about before. Um, yeah, it's just, and, and that's what's good. As a drummer, for for me, it is uh, Terry <laughs> brings riffs that are. Oh yeah, I don't even know. You know they're, really, they're different, right? You, yeah, know, you and, don't think uh, about it. You don't think about the poor fucking drummer's got to like <laughs> come up with the beat to that. Now you know what I mean. He'll write it's something like, in like, like an off time. You know what I mean. He doesn't it's even like, know it's off time. Oh, I'm like, sure. dude, that's like three, four. Yeah, or something. You know that that's five, four, yeah. and, and then and then you okay. stop, and and then and then it goes back but, to. Oh really? Oh, well, great. Oh, that's cool. cool. I didn't know that. What are you going to play to with that? You know what I mean. Are you going to make it as heavy as possible? You know what I mean. I mean, I love it though. It, 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 it's, it's a mind blower, man. You know, and um, you know, yeah, it's an expansion. It's a progression. I mean, if people like what we're doing, uh, I'm pretty confident they'll like what we have in store after this record too. You know, and yes, we have material. We got a bunch of oh, material, yeah. actually. Yeah, we have a full album. Way about yeah, it, he's too. got a bunch of stuff. I got a bunch of stuff. We probably have like an album, an yeah. album and a half. Yeah. 
We got a lot of water. Lot of, this is the most like backlog material that I've ever had in my life. I mean, and it's not just because of COVID. I mean, I've had stuff since, yeah, you know, 2016, 2014 that I haven't even like touched yet, you know, yeah. like lyrics written down or a couple of riffs or whatever. So we're ready. We're pretty ready to go, man. But, you know, we'll see what happens, man. One day at a time with that. How complete are these songs when you bring them to the rest of the band, Terry? Do you have the song structures pretty much locked in? Or do you come in with a bunch of riffs and uh, you guys arrange them as a group? It can be about 70-80%. That's kind of how I'm writing lately. That's how I've been writing for... Uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll probably... Yeah, it's different than the song. Yeah, Sometimes it's I, a light idea. Other yeah. times you have like a full... Yeah. Like this is what, you know. I, yeah. But a lot of times, yeah. yeah Generally, it's 70-80. I like to have gaps. I like to bring a song that's almost complete to these guys. I like it when Jonathan sends it through his filter. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's super important to me. He gets like the final, the final, like... Yeah. Uh, how the way it comes out and i like that a lot i really right. really do because it's a fucking band that's working important yeah yeah it's very great stuff i'm a general songwriter but at the same time i need your input i need your yeah. input i need your input it's wicked important i want that so I, I generally i try to leave gaps i try not to finish a song yeah and all honesty a lot of times i have a hard time finishing a song so that just goes right, right to these man. guys but there are other times where it's like you know something man i can wrap this song up like in four bars and i can put words over this put words over that you know something no nah, just give it to jonathan and see what see what his take is going to be on it you know what i mean because why, why the fuck not yeah. you know what i mean i mean sure there you go you know i mean i, I come we on can talk, man, we can talk not, like it's, situations it's and no every problem song. it's no problem for me man i am not like a stern like you know no dude it's got to be that way and this way no 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 way dude. What, would you, what would you do there man well you know check you know you know what, 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 what do you want to do there you know i'm yeah. totally come on man totally yeah we definitely fun. work the material out in, yeah, the, in the band room a lot make it good make it fun make it enjoyable you know what i mean yeah you're doing that i'm doing this oh sick dude great cool you know what i mean yeah yeah i mean I'm doing this for a long time, man. I'm fucking sick of the struggle, you know what I mean? Oh, that pot's coming up. I don't like that fucking pot. Like, uh, fucking, whatever. You, yeah, don't deal with that fucking harsh shit, man. You know what I mean? Fuck that, man. Not, 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 not no more. But that's generally what I do. Like a song like Kill By Life, I mean, that was pretty much, say, like 90% done. You know what I mean? And I, I, yeah. and I give it to you when you did like the chorus. So, Kill! Bye. Yeah, the, you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah, you know, the yeah. There's, there's certain little gaps where it's like I have no idea what I'm going to do. I'll just give it, just give it to Jonathan. He'll, 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 he'll fix it. He'll, he'll, he'll make it work. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. The beat, the beats. He'll take care of the beats, yeah. and then he'll take care of refining the rest of it. You know what I mean? I love it. It's a great process. It's but in a way, like awesome. those, the, the, uh, those earlier songs from the EPs and stuff, that was yeah. that learning process of figuring out how we're. Oh yeah, how it's going to work. Yeah, how you're together. Gonna, how so, you're going to work together. That's with right, this album, right, exactly. we had it pretty locked down between how we work together sure did and, and sure did, we, man. Yeah, yeah, sure yeah, yeah yeah writing wise. yeah it's really I, I'm, I'm thrilled man it's the best i've ever had man it's it's a blast you, know, you can really enjoy you know doing it oh man. it's you very know, tight man. very cohesive yeah, yeah man. everything now let's drop right along okay four okay six so we're gonna do that eight oh no why don't you do four and four on that yeah yeah cool great right. you know I, it, it, it's awesome it, it really really is we got some really good shit planned too man up there. i mean we got a new record out, man. So we want to promote the hell out of this as long as we can. But we do have long term goals. You know what I mean? I mean, you know, yeah, exactly. Sure, we got a bunch of other stuff going on. And we'll definitely talk about the future of the band and some of the, the promotional plans that you have. Sure thing. We, we spoke a little bit about the recording and working with Kurt. Yeah. You know, Kurt, Kurt's got a reputation, not just from the bands that he's been in, but as, a, as an engineer and as a producer as well. Yeah. Was there any specific reason that you guys wanted to work with Kurt specifically? His guitar tone and his drum sound. Yeah, drum sound. <laughs> For me. <laughs> uh, yeah, in the Rich. live, in recording live. That was like, that was like I, the top thing, the recording. Yeah, we, we were checking out some other studios and it was all, you know, you got to record one at a time. You know what I mean? Like me and Chuck would record, I'd record one guitar. The feeling, like yeah. the, when you do that, like feeling of, of the band like that feeling of, of the heaviness just changes right you know you got no it. one's fault but when you record everything separate that 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 the organic feeling yeah. of the of feeling you know especially with the, with the stuff we do the timing is not this is not click track stuff you know what i mean it's very organic uh, it's very organic it's very straight up it's very wide yeah, let uh, it breathe a bit right and that's what makes it you gotta better. understand this guy is a gear head He's an amplifier head. He makes his own effects. The guy is a sound wizard. So all you got to do 
to show up with your guitars and be really well rehearsed and you're yeah. good. They'll take it from there. He yeah. takes yeah. it from there, yeah. man. I mean, it's simplicity. It, sure. it, 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 it's fucking every, everything you want. You know what I mean? Seriously. Half the records I listen to, oh, yeah, man, I want to sound similar to that. You know what I mean? I, I know what I have in my mind as far as the compression goes, as far as the tone goes, as far as all right. that. I know I can accomplish it with this guy. Yeah. I know I can't. You know what I mean? It's just a matter of us coming up with the budget and coming up with the time yeah. and so on and so forth and being able to right. work with him. Yeah. And he's such a busy guy, too. You know, you got to get a window, too. Oh, I'm going to be on tour with Converter. I'm working with this person, that person. You know, you got to coordinate it all. You know what I mean? But yeah. really, we looked yeah. around our area we yes around new england yes That's, we did We're, who's who do we like who would we go to if we could mm -hmm. absolutely go to yeah. yeah and every time we kept bouncing around to this person or that person we kept coming back to Kurt. We're like this just makes the most sense yeah man and, so uh, it. yeah we got it we got it we got it we got to work we got to work super <laughs> we got to work super hard and you know just fucking totally save our pennies and make this fucking work unfortunately yeah. we did yeah and it was great. But yeah, man, you know, I, like I said, man, I'm not going to tell you this. So I, can, I couldn't even name the records of, you know, that, that he's done. It's just like, holy shit, listen to that. And, was, yeah. and, and, and you know, right away, it's like, oh, wow, you know, what, what do we have to do? What do we have to do? Just show up. Just bring your guitars and your pedals. I mean, you know, walk in and he's just got, you know, you name the Marshall, he's got, you know what I mean? You name the SVT, yeah. or he's got his drum set is just fucking, you know, it's tuned to the, you know. I mean, all you got to do is sit down and fucking play, man. That's all you got to do. It's, it's, I mean... The fact that he recorded Beast Milk and Disfier is enough for me. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> In addition to Kurt, there are a couple other people uh, from the area who made contributions to the album. Mm. Uh, do you want to mention some of the guests that you have? Yeah, Jake Manon. I've known him since he was since he was a very young kid, man. He's from the same area that Chuck and I are from. Chuck's from Salem, New Hampshire. I'm from Lawrence, Massachusetts. It's an area called the Merrimack Valley. And Merrimack River runs through it, hence the Merrimack Valley. But anyway, Jake, I mean, I remember... You know, him and him and the cave in guys, man, they're all like from like, you know, Andover in Massachusetts, yeah. Medellin, Massachusetts. And I just remember watching them, you know, just grow, man, and just play all these yeah. big shows and their yeah. careers just totally, you know, take would, off. Yeah. And they're just so hardworking and so dedicated to what they do and just so professional. I was really, really, really wow. happy for them. I know? remember yeah. seeing Converge's first show. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I was a kid. And then I remember booking shows in Salem with them. Yeah. Cave, I mean, God, I go back. And Tell time. me about it. Yeah, a lot more people would have showed that show today than back yeah. then. But it was yeah, like Cave and Converge, Bane, 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 Bane. You know, like yeah. I, so we were always around that. Oh um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a Converge when they played the the, the Elks, so that's yeah. Yeah. that's a Columbus Alarm. Yeah. Yeah. They tore the fucking ceiling down and shit. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, uh, I just watched young kids just blossom and be really successful. And I used to hang around with, with Jake's old brother actually and uh, do some uh, devious things. But anyway, I've uh, I've known him for a long time. So, I mean, it was just an obvious and, and I mean, we're, his we're, passion. We're, yeah, yeah, yeah his, we're recording his... with Kurt. I mean, man, we'll be superb to, right. to get him on our record and record. See what happened. We, uh, we toured Europe in 2017. And unfortunately, we had some van problems. Our van broke down and we got stuck in Nuremberg, Germany for an extra night. We weren't able to go to Italy. And Jake was there with his, with, with, with his, where your wounds, where your wounds, yeah, yeah. With his yeah the like, guy that was putting us up at this place. Yeah. And, hey, uh, there's a guy, there's a American man from band. your area that's playing in the next room over. Jacob Bannon from Converge has been where your wounds. We're like, what the hell? My hell? eyes went up. Holy yeah. shit, Jake. Oh my God. So we boogied over there and right away. I hadn't seen him in years and years and years. It's funny, actually. No, you went in the band. You went in the band. The grief opened for Converge in Worcester at that place. The store was it called the warehouse or the space the or space, whatever? The space. Yeah, and grief, grief was a three piece at the time. It wasn't yeah. very. Anyway, that was the last time I'd seen him. Probably like 90, the 90s, but yeah. I always followed their career. I mean, Converge fucking gigantic. I mean, yeah, I'm fucking trend setting fucking band. I mean, amazing shit. Always so happy for the, these younger kids that came from my area, man. They all. They all kicked major ass, man. It was really, really, really kind of, effort, kind of inspiring, man. You know, I don't want to sound like a jerk, but eh, I was with some some like unsavory people for a long, long time, and I had a hard time kind of breaking out of that. And I always wanted to do what, what they did. So to record with Kurt and have Jake on that record was kind of like taking that step finally in my life. You know what I mean? It's like a really, really big deal. And he had a lot of enhancement and a lot of oh, emotion yeah. to our record, man. I'm really, really happy about it, man. That was you know? the idea, too, right? Yeah, was vocal, yeah. Like I knew it would mesh well with his, man. I knew it would just be fucking huge. And, and, and it, it came out great. We really lucked out, man. Like I said, you know, the cover art that we did, you know, his, his back oh, yeah, vocals. Lisa, uh, too. Yeah. Oh, my friend Lisa Belladonna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She did the intro for, to when the, when the World Dies, the song. Yeah. 
And I was super, I always wanted to work with her. I always wanted to get her on a record or do something, some kind of project or something, you know? So she also added to the record. We did, we, we really squeezed for time, actually, kind of. And I wanted to get a little more of her on the record, maybe next time. But like I said, I want, like I was thinking we were going to add all these things to the record. You know, maybe we'll get a cello player. Maybe we'll do this. Maybe we'll add like a, a minute of keyboards. Yeah, was, well, but, 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 but I mean, things just came out like boom, 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 boom. It was so fucking brutal. It was like, well, we're going to do this. This is how the record is right. going to come out. You know what I mean? I mean, John, John Lee can sing, believe it or not. He's got a great voice you know what i mean so he can, he can sing you know so maybe you know maybe he had some like you know singing or this or that just trying to add different things next you know? time yeah, yeah. next time next time next time next time yeah yeah or like, yeah, love yeah. to get lisa on the record <laughs> our next record you'd love to get anybody to to you know we're, we're, we're up to all kinds of things we'd like to do all kinds of things man yeah 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 yeah, yeah. that's yeah. the thing it ain't we don't like to just stick to one why stick to just one thing, man? If you want to add something, you think it's going to enhance your music yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and what you do, why not do it, man? I just, I just, yeah. I came, I'll came up good in the other
I believe Randy from Cable also contributed to this. Yeah, album. yeah. Randy was Randy. So okay, here's the the, the Randy story so right me, me, before. Me, so Randy joined the band right at the beginning of 2020, right before yeah. we released the record. Randy joined the band. We got together. The material was written. Yes. At that point. For the oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 The, all of that stuff was kind of just waiting in the wings. After so that was the plan. We kept had this ongoing thing. We're going to go record. We're going to. So yeah, I guess pausing right yeah. there, like we wrote the album without it. Yeah, we yeah, yeah. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Know, so. so, yeah, the material was there. We were getting ready after we finished the the twelve inch, to get back to work and go get working on that album. Randy joined, and then three practices later, COVID hit. And then everything stopped. <laughs> and uh, stopped for him. yeah, and then we just sat and waited and we were kind of like, what are we doing? Are, are we able to get together? Are we able to, is it safe? And this and that. And like I said before, we, we just got together in the beginning of last year and then we're like, all right, let's start getting together. You know, I wasn't even doing vocals. We were literally just working on the instrumental parts for everything. Right. And Randy was in the band. We got together. We played, I don't know. After we set the date with Kurt, we just said, all right, we're going to rehearse. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Rehearse, 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 rehearse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We went, recorded the album. Everything went out, went great. You know, we got along great with Randy. And it yeah. was just, he, I think it was like a few months after the, the record came out. He just had some some life things that were going on. And it was just, he, there was nothing personal. We have no issues with oh, Randy yeah, at all. Yeah, 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 real yeah. Well with him. Oh, man. No, and no. total respect, he, he needed to step away from music. And we said, okay, man, no problem, man. What are you going to do? We're, we're all older. We kind of get, like, we get yeah, yeah. the angle. We're I mean, all you know, older. We have families and everything lot, else. We do, lot, we do a lot of commuting, you know what I mean? I mean, he lives way up in Maine. Yeah, yeah Randy's down in Connecticut. I'm up in Maine. Maine. Well, right, 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 right. It's a lot of so him not being able to do it, made, like, a, yeah, it's man. understandable. Yeah, I mean, it was a bummer, man, because he, he was... Yeah, he did great on the record. You know, uh, again, not, no hard feelings. We have no issues, no ill will. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nothing like um, that whatsoever. Nothing and we're, ve we're very grateful he was involved was say, in that time. Yeah, yeah. And in the record, he did an awesome job. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, everything went great, but he, he had to go his own way. And, and we totally get that. And which led us to John, actually. So that all worked out in the end because John has been a friend of ours for, like Terry said, for he a long time. Oh, he's, been been very, he's been a part of our team for quite a while, for, for several years now. You know what I mean? We've, we've been very, very fortunate to assemble a team pretty much everywhere we go. We're lucky. You know, we work really hard, man. And we're not fucking assholes and everything. You know, you, you probably... People listening to this, you probably heard a bunch of fucking shit about us, about, about me particularly. All the guys are fucking asshole. He ripped off fucking the guys in grief and blah, blah, blah. It's all a bunch of fucking bullshit, bullshit. I'm the one that did all the work. I don't want to get into that right now. But we assemble a team of people and individuals that we, we work together with and we accomplish goals with. And John was very early on a part of our team. Right. He's one of the, you know, he, he brought fucking Voivod to fucking Portland, Maine, for Christ's sake. He brought fucking the Obsessed... And, and fucking I hate God up there. I mean, yeah. he's, he's oh. booked fucking legendary shows, Primitive Man, fucking Bell Witch. I mean, you name it. The list goes on, full of hell. I mean, he's... he's and, a, and a ton of our shows. He's yeah, probably us. played Portland more than any yeah, other yeah, city. Yeah, he's done pioneering That's work. Dope. You know what I mean? And he's all, we've always worked so with all him. He's always out. fucking been, you know, treated us fucking superb. And now he's out of our band. It's it's it's, it's so right. fucking important. Yeah. So he was always there. He's always been there. He's always you know? been an he's ally. always been... You know, with us, you know, in, in one capacity. And now he's playing bass in the band. You know what I mean? So just to say real quick, we had, my, you know, one of my best friends, Jerry Orn, who was, yeah, yeah. was with us for five shows. You know, Randy, unfortunately, stepped away at a uh, kind of an opportune time. So we, yeah, we, we had really shows squeezed, you know. Yeah. I play a war horse with Jerry as well. And fortunately, he had the time available and he played he played the uh, five shows that we had at the end of uh, and we last love year. Jerry is our yeah. buddy, yeah. he's our brother, and yeah. we were yeah. stoked to have him along yeah. and play the show. Jerry, unfortunately, that. couldn't stay because Jerry plays, that would make four bands yeah. for Jerry. Yeah. Jerry's very busy. Desolate. And, and so we're all and very grateful. Yeah. Yeah. So we didn't want to kill him. And John was available. John, I mean, I mean... He, yeah, I knew it would be like, oh, this is going to be fucking great. He's going to fit right in. This is going to be fucking, you know, you, you can't go along with this. This is like tailor made. And, and, and it was, you know, so, I mean, and that's what we're doing. That's, that's what we're doing, man. You know, the Randy thing was definitely unfortunate, but we bucked up with Jerry for that little time. And, and now we got John and, and, and that's all. Well, it. It's definitely a confusing situation. I can imagine <laughs> it is. You know, you see a picture of us and we got one guy and then there's a picture another of us. We got another guy. Then you buy the record and there's another guy. What are you going to do, man? You know, what are you going to do? I mean, you know, this is not done on purpose. I mean, you know, uh, I'm sure Dale and fucking Buzzo 
from the Melvins. I mean, you know, they got different like, 18 fucking <laughs> bass players or whatever, you know. We, we don't particularly want to do that, but that's just what happened. Now, if you follow grief, then you know the grief had drummers, 10 drummers, you know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? So I guess this is like the, the bass player thing yeah. now, but hopefully John will be with us for, for, a, for a long time, you know John's I mean? not allowed Hopefully to that's so over now. We're going to make him stay. Yeah, we're going to make him stay, you know what I mean? But <laughs> yeah, he's actually not allowed to be. I think he's more than willing to... Uh, anyway, yeah, that's what's up with that situation. Well, let's let's backtrack a little bit, John. Uh, how did you end up join, uh, meeting these guys and joining the band? They were doing their first show, I, and I remember seeing all the the promotion for that, and I immediately wanted them to come up to Portland and and work with my operation, which at at the time was called Last Mercy Emissions out of Portland, Maine, and I was doing promotion at numerous venues as an independent promoter, and then. Later was focused solely at Geno's Rock Club, which is a 21 plus venue in that town. So from there, you know, the relationship just grew and we worked together on more and more shows, pretty much one, once to twice a year in frequency. And, and I always kept up with them and always received very thoughtful correspondence. Just really stuck out to me as a promoter, which is often a thankless job, I always receive very thoughtful emails and, and check-ins from these guys. And, and it, it, you know, it just always really made me feel like I was considered. And for the fact that they even approached me and an interest for the position, bass player position, I was, it happened at the right time in my life when I left Geno's and became independent again due to the pandemic and the change, changing of the guard at, at that venue. And so I just had more space in my life to do it. And the band that I had been working on kind of vaporized. So I just, you know, it all just worked out. And, you know, the new record is unbelievable. And it's frankly, it's my favorite record that's come out in the last year. And I'm very pleased and you know i just i couldn't be more happy in where i'm at and and more grateful so it's yeah. really where where i'm coming from john was the first person outside of the band i showed the record to when yeah. we first recorded it so <laughs> yeah for yeah for his opinion because that's like our relationship that we have yeah so man you know, him, you know you know we have, we have a team we have a team but we also have a pretty tight in our circle, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and again, he's always been part of that, you know, immediately right off the bat. So his opinion was like, you know, super important right off the bat. And here we are now. So, you know, it's just freaky. Yeah. Now, John, are you on the record? No, no, no. he's not. No, no. It's all Randy. Right, he'll be on the next That's one. Right. He'll be on the yeah. next one. Yep. Yeah, Randy's, Randy did a great job. And, and I've honestly, it's just, yeah. I tip my... I'm really just like thoroughly impressed in, in in what he did for that record, and it's been a lot of fun just learning his parts. And mm. so, yeah, I've I've had my my you know enough work cut out for me, but it's it's just been so much fun learning it. So yeah, that's good. Yeah, we spoke about Kurt and what Kurt brought to the sound of the band, but you also worked with Brad Boatwright from Audio Siege. Yeah, why Brad? How did he get involved with this? This is Kurt. We talked to Kurt. I talked yeah, to he, Kurt and I. And I was just asking who he suggested. You know, he was, 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 was highly, highly recommended to us. Yeah, and I can't, I, I, I don't remember exactly who. Uh, yeah, he's worked with like pretty much. Ray from church, for I know I spoke to him in that day, and he said, hey, everyone we were talking about, like, Brad, I looked, I looked, Brad, I looked Brad. at his roster of the bands yeah. that he worked with, and it's like, oh, yeah, sounds good yeah. to me, man. So, yeah, we looked at the roster with all the, I mean, we're pretty, you know, all our friends are saying this is the, I mean, the dude, the, then hey, we're going to go. The minute that. I took it home, it was just like, you know, you listen to it in the car. You listen to it in your rehearsal space. You listen to it at home. You try to listen to it as many places as you can. And it was just <laughs> boom, it had bombs, booming and all bombs, around. Bombs, Everything right. I liked, I liked it everywhere I heard it. Every set of speakers I heard it. Drew, I yeah. liked it. I liked his work immediately, what he did. And again, it'd be awesome if we could work with them again because I'm very, very happy with the result. Yeah, no question about a that. A huge factor 
right i i, I get it. yeah man, around, this is like the professionalism right yeah. it was very professional very community oh yeah i mean it was just like it, her it was Zoom done it was done and like oh dude he's done you know too? yeah he's done you know the record's done you know i was like what yeah. oh, all right cool awesome yeah, all right oh that's good okay. the money and they got yeah 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 it was like it was really the whole process of, of everything easy. Very, very easy and just very smooth. I mean, which is nice. And we were anticipating snags, you know, all around. Oh, they need this file. Oh, they need this. Oh, he wants to do this. Oh, he wants to do that. No, it was nothing. Hey, dude, it's done. What? Really? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. great. You know, cool. So, that's yeah, nice. that's how that went about. Yeah. Yep. So, not just your first full length, but also your first release for translation loss, right? Yes, yep. correct. Right. How'd they get involved with this? I had spoke to Drew from translation two years ago. Yeah, I mean, COVID messes my head up with timing. 2018, right? maybe, right? Yeah, I, Terry's probably right A few now. years back. He few wanted years. to work with us, and then the, the, the communication stopped, not because of anything at all, really. It was because of COVID, and we had done Yeah, 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 life uh, going on, just, you know. And we started shopping the record, and we obviously gave it to them right away, and then mm. uh, we, we gave it to a few other labels as well to check out, right? And the deal they came up with was just good, and they've been very pleasant to work with. I mean, they're trying to they put out some really cool looking vinyl. Yeah, we knew it. Yeah, we knew it. Them with the art, right? With the art, like you see the art of the cover, it's pretty killer, right? We knew they would pick up with a vinyl look that will go with that art, and we just you know, a lot of that's why we didn't press this ourselves, a because of yeah. promotional, but also because of. We just don't have the money and funding to do yeah, that. Man, yeah, man. Yeah, we kind of wanted to, you know, keep breathing, going, and all that. But I mean, translation loss. I'm very, very pleased with their product that they put out. And they're trying to do. They're know, trying to navigate you know, like a fucked up time because of COVID with vinyl. I'm sure you know, right? Like, and they've always been communicating with us. Yeah, you know, dealing with the problems. I mean, there was problems that they were dealt with professionally they're, quickly, immediately. They're, right? enth they're enthusiasts, too. They want to put out a good product. They want it to look good. They want it to sound good. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm very pleased with whatever. And they're a great team. You got Christian. I deal with Christian a lot. Yeah. I deal with Drew for a lot of the art. And yeah. then, as you know, we deal with Shannon, and Shannon's great. I'm she really, was, you know, I, I was I was on Century Media years ago. I was on Relapse years ago. And, you know, you get a phone call during the week. Hey, man, such and such a fancy wants to do this with you. You want to do that with you? Are you available here, available there? Shannon's the same way. I, I, it's just like the old days, man. Hey, can you do this interview with this fanzine, with this website, with this, that? I really, really like that a lot, man. I, it's, it's, they're a really good team. They're really going out of their way to do certain things for us. And I mean, you know, we're more than willing to back it up on our end. No question about that. But uh, no, man, it's really cool. I mean, I they've been on my radar for a long time. I've got a bunch of releases that they put out. Chuck yeah. has always, always, always said to me, you know, translation loss. They've been, they've been, the two guys been really talking to me and really interested in working with us and this and that. And yeah, they put out a lot of cool stuff. Yeah, man. You know, like I said, they're they're, they're very enthusiastic about what they right do. It. And uh, I like their distro. I see their stuff around. It's easy to get. There's a lot of really, really plus factors with yeah. them. And I'm not gonna lie to you, man. We 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 sent the record to a lot of a lot of people, man. You know, and uh, we didn't get a whole hell of a lot of response. And uh, they were right away. The response that we did get, they were the best. They yeah. were the best by yeah. far, by far the best. And they were on our radar anyway. Yes, yeah. they were really enthusiastic about working with yeah, us. Yeah, man. So for that real, was like you know, uh, a lot yeah. of hey, man, hey, man. We can hey, you know, a lot of really that like you know, deal. cool, sincere, like you know. I know these dudes like us. I know that they really want to work with us. I know it's not just, it wasn't very whimsical. It was really right. purpose. Like, hey, dude, yeah, hey, you know, yeah. we want to work with you. You know, it, it was sincere. Put it that way. And that yeah. means that means the world to me. And we're so, really yeah. grateful for all the hard work they put in. The yeah, man, too. Like, along with everybody else, those guys are. Yeah, 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 totally. Yeah, no, it's and great. Again, navigating great. that crazy vinyl and. You know, yeah, all the delays with pressing and everything else. Yeah. But we got through it. Hopefully they made it happen. Improving it. It's hard right now. Okay. But the end result, the vinyl looks great. So oh, that's the yeah. most important thing. Yeah. <laughs> Look at how you look.
mentioned the second album and the material that you're writing for that a few yes. times. Yes. What can people expect and when can they expect it? All right, I'm going to introduce you. You can talk about the new album, but I'll talk. So we signed a deal with Translation as well to release a, a comp on vinyl and CD, I believe. Maybe I'm going to call for Christian, tell me I'm wrong. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, about doing the comp, it's all the older material. and We, we have that coming at some mm-hmm. point. But then the new album too. So that, I don't know what will happen in what order. You know, we basically, the worst so of, that's what's yeah. coming up. The worst of times and pray for the end and the song Take Me In My Sleep from the official split. It will be on a anthology, anthology slash compilation record that we're uh, going to be doing with them. Before our next record comes out, which, you know, we don't have a name for it or anything, but between Jonathan and I, and I we've got uh, quite a bit of songs. Yeah. I definitely want to say we probably have fuck. 45, 50 minutes worth of material yeah. right off oh, the yeah. bat Love it. That, we, that we can have shelves of songs. He has shelves of songs. It's just a matter of refining them and putting them right. together and assembling them and, and finalizing them, you know? And then we got material after that. See, we don't know, man. We don't know what we're going to do. I mean, we're just taking... Let's you know, When the time. World Dies just came out, man. I mean, we played our first show about tour last night. And we have the record in hand and we're selling it. So we'll see how far this goes. We could go right into recording our next record. We could tour the piss out of this record. We, we don't, don't know. know yet. We're keeping it over a lot, a lot, a lot of different <laughs> factors. And last yeah. night, you know, we're, we're back on tour, man. So we're, we're, we're meeting up with our team. We're meeting up with our friends and we're making new friends and we're learning a lot. And, you know, come to find out this, you know, COVID is still a, a major concern, you know? It's still really taking a dent out of touring bands. I mean, there's a lot of different things that, are, that aren't happening that we thought were happening. Things are not obviously normal like they were. So we really don't know what's going to happen, you know? We want to go to Europe. We want to go to Japan. We want to tour the States, go to the Pacific Northwest. We're just going to have to do this tour and take it from there, you know? Once we get through this run, yeah. We have the record release show, June 11th, June 11th, uh, Brian's. June 11th in Boston, yes. And then yeah. we can get back to yeah. the new stuff. Yeah. 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 yeah, but we did the last time, a lot of it was just, you know, we had this pile of songs. Yeah, man, for real. Of, like real. Jerry said, shells, it's real, ideas man. and stuff. It's yeah. crazy. And we would just kind of cherry pick which one we felt like doing at that moment. Like, yeah, like, this feels right right now, let's do it. Yep. Yeah. And it wasn't like we picked the songs and we're like, these are all the best of these. Not at all. 20 Not songs. at all. Like, not this feels right right now, and in the end, I think that what ended up on the album yeah. is a good mix of a lot of different sounds, and yeah. that's what we'll do going forward. And yeah, some of the stuff you've done recently, yeah, some of the riffs and and, and new material is is really it's blowing my mind. It's just moody coming out. It's and dark out. Yeah. And, yeah. and doomy, but it's it's in a, de- a different kind of atmospheric yeah. and kind of. I'm uh, digging it. I can't get over it. It's a mind blower. It's like, where the fuck did that come from? Wow, holy shit, man. Yeah, so, yeah. I'm thrilled, but at the same time, like, sometimes you get a little worrisome. It's like, what the fuck is going through my fucking head to, to do something like that, you know? <laughs> but whatever, as long as it works, man. You know, we have an abundance of it, man. We really, really do. It's great. Yeah. But who knows? It, you know, it, we could go, like I said, man, we could go right into writing. We could have, you know, another two years before we do another record. We could just fucking get all these offers and play shows or whatever, whatever. We're not really in a, you know, whatever happens. We, just happens, not, we, we would really like, like to get yeah. to the new material. Too. Yeah, yeah, we really would like to get to <laughs> yeah, the new yeah, material yeah, yeah, yeah. because you got to understand. We don't want to wait too long. Yeah, we really yeah exactly. We, we, we really don't want to wait too long. Exactly. We don't want to, you know, we, we, we did wait quite a while. We really did. There was a period there. It's like, fuck, you know. So, yeah. And are you hoping to work with Card again? Oh, fuck, yes. yeah. I'd love to. I'd love to. Yeah, Bill have us. Yeah, Bill have us, yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, um, I no, yeah. You know, I, I, I'm just hoping that the next record will be able to, you know, get a decent budget to record it. You know, we have to understand we, 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 we did all this on our own with our own funding, you know, and hopefully the, our next record will get a decent budget so we can stay with Kurt a little longer. Yeah. Because like I was saying, you know, I want to maybe add a cello here or maybe, a, you know, a, a different voice here or, or something. You know, I mean, I'm a huge Celtic Frost fan. I mean, what do you want me to say? I worship the fucking band. The, yeah. man, the man is a genius. You know what I mean? So, I mean, there's certain aspects that I'm in by that he's done that oh, I'd like, I like to try that I'd like to try this I'd like to you know and there's certain things that I, I, I run machines man you know I, I run a fucking printing press my whole life man and I make t-shirts now I hear things in my head mechanical things in my head and yeah. I'd like to incorporate that into my music you know what I mean I just there's just certain things that, that I that I know will, will fit you know I just I can't explain it like I said when the world died you know I, I mean it was 
it, it, it was brutality fucking straight up. The next record, we... Who we knows? Know. The, next, the next record could be, be even more fucking brutal. I don't know. I don't, It could be like fucking random blood. I, I don't know. I, I don't... I don't care. Well, however it comes out, it comes out. But it would be interesting to add certain yeah. things. You know what I mean? You know, you put a fucking playing card in the spokes of a fucking bike or something. Or, you know, I don't know. Whatever. Get, yeah. get the, the Ultimately, most, whatever we feel like. Yeah, the nocturnal ground swirl. You know what I mean? It's a chirp <laughs> or something and then record it backwards. I don't know. Anything anything like that. You know, we're open for anything. But, uh, yeah. We want to. We want to. We, we, we really want to. Like I said, we just want to go that way, man. We just want to take it as much as we can. Everything we do, we just want to get better and more pro and, and sound better yeah. and, and, and and all that. We, 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 we want record, record our first guy yelling at his cat with some echo. Or anything yeah. like that. Anything like that. <laughs> right? Right, Carl? He's passed out. Yeah, he's Carl Olvis is our merch guy. He's legendary. We love yeah. Carl. He's, passed, yeah, Carl he's, passed, he's passed out right now. But yeah. Yeah. New Orleans. Then anyway, yeah. <laughs> we love New Orleans. We love... We love Fucking New Orleans fan, totally, man. Can't wait to get back down there again. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Excellent. When the World Dies is the name of the first Come to Grief album, and by the time people hear this, it'll be out through Translation Lost Records. Okay. Guys, tell everyone how they can order the album. What's the best way to get it? Right now, the best way to get it is translationlost.com, but they are out of the vinyl. So if your local record store is cool enough to pre-order this, to sell in the store, you could find it there. They do still have CDs, but they are working very hard to get a second pressing can, going of this. Yeah, I can say that I'm not going to say dates out loud. But, yeah, yeah, we don't really know um, that for sure. But yeah, and I'm scanning my certain, certain factors. Going um, on, but the know. first pressing is officially gone. We will, we're hoping that we'll be able to start selling. Uh, we have some copies. If we have anything left at the end of this store, which you can get the record now. We have vinyl, we have CDs on tour right now with yeah, Eddie God, Fat, and Squala Grind. Yeah. And we are selling them at our show. So if you want a copy of it, of the first press, 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 you got to come to the show. We got them, man. Get we, got them. we got them. We have, we have vinyl and CD. We have it, man. We have it. We're promoting our album, man. You know, it's um, I'm thinking awesome. the, next, the next week or two, we'll see a pre-order for the second press yeah you know we're just working out timelines you know obviously you know like we said the vinyl pressing right but cool thing is this new press will have multiple new colors i can say that the colors are picked but we'll let that lie for later and so you'll be able to order that second press and people can also order the digital version through your band camp page right the translation yeah, loss the come to grief page. Loss, yeah. right come to grief yeah. tl.bandcamp dot com yep and this the, i mean on translation now we got cds available we got t-shirts available too so, yes they do yeah. still have the cd they do still have yep. t-shirts exclusive t-shirts with yep. the record cover yeah man stuff. yeah yeah they have a t-shirt design that only they saw and we have particular designs that we saw on yep. tour you know what i mean so it, it's worth pursuing man it really really is you know yeah in my opinion and after this tour if you also, the last chance you might have is to come to a record release show to yeah. get the record yeah. there. We have, another, we have another, we have some more records held for that. And yeah. there may, depending if we saw all of them on the road here, there may be a brief minute on that they might be available on our band. Yeah, we don't know. Yeah, we, 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 we release that. Ourselves. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of different factors involved we'll right, in, in this whole process. You know, what, what will be available, what we'll have left, what we won't yeah. have left. You just, we're just going with the flow one day at a time, man. You know, it's the way But it watch for that second pressing pre-order that's going to come out in the next week or two call your local record store and see if they have it yeah, yeah or if they can get the second press yeah there'll be a don't. small amount to distro as well coming from that first press but not a lot it's actually not a lot and if people want to follow come to grief online what's the best way to do that we have a uh or on instagram we're on facebook and stuff too our website is come to grief.com yep and our bank account too. We still have our own band camp going. We're we actually quite visible on, on all, all that yeah, stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? All you got to do is type in men and it'll bring it to a lot. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a very computer savvy person myself, mm -hmm. but so you got to do, man. Click, click. And we, we're we on a lot of that stuff, yeah. man. It's it's very informative and you can you can pretty much figure out what you yeah. need to yeah. do and where you need to go to get to get our, our stuff. And it's pretty cool. Facebook, man, you know? Instagram. Yeah, yeah man. Camp. Go to our Metal Archives page. You can yeah, yeah, Metal Archives is good. Everything <laughs> yeah. is in there. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're very, very visible, man. I really, I really like it. You know, it's a double-edged sword, man. I've been doing this for a long time with, with tape trading and, and writing through the snail mail and all that, man. All you got to do is press a button and you can pretty much find out a lot of stuff. And it, it, It's convenient, man. Totally. Yeah, yeah. Is there anything else you guys want to say? 
No, we just appreciate everyone's support, you know, and mainly for us and I'm for myself, you know, especially like, you know, just getting out there, especially last night felt great to play those yeah, songs live. To, yeah. You know, I mean, we've had those in our, oh my God, in our head for many years. And, 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 and to see the album out, yeah. be on tour, to play those songs live, right? That's that's huge. Yeah. We're really, really fortunate, man. I mean, you know, we, we, have, we have a new album, but we're supporting it as we speak once or two, two fucking like sold out nights at St. Vitus Bar. I mean, we got a really good tour ahead of us. I mean, we're going to Ohio for the first time. We're going to uh, Michigan for the first time. It's it's a really, it's a big deal, man. You know, I'm really, really excited to have our album in hand and be able to sell it to people and mostly to be able to perform it on stage every night. We're doing like four songs off the new record. Yeah. That is like a quantum fucking like leap to me yeah. to be able to do that man it really 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 is considering what we went through with covid and the downtime and then just the void period that everybody had to come back last night and do that was just like wow man i can't believe we fucking did it's that. great so, it's great we got having john yeah, now yeah, and, you know we were very nervous about that so we got sean yeah like i said it's working really on great. Track, we're having a really good time man it's it's a fucking mind blower right? we love what we're doing and you know it's, you yeah, know, we're we're just to, yeah we're fun, always man you got to give it your 110 percent because yeah. you don't know when it could be the last time man you know and you just gotta just do it you know and you know in my opinion i'm having the most fun of my life because it's what i've always wanted to do you know when you're fucked up on drugs and you're drunk and you're losing shit and you're forgetting shit and you you know yeah. That really isn't a lot of fun, man. That gets old, you know? When you're doing stuff and it's all, yeah, we're going to do this right now. We're going to do that right now. We're going to do this. And at the end of the night, you feel good. You accomplished something. You did something good. You sounded good. You played good. People liked you. Yeah. You know, that, that that means a lot. That's what I want to do, man. You know, and that's what I always wanted to do. So. Yeah. John, I'm going to let you have the last word. <laughs> no super, super grateful for these guys. Yeah. And... I can say myself, like, you you got a lot, there's a lot in store and there's something to look forward to here. And yeah, I'm, I'm just really, really happy and really proud of their work on the record. And it's going to be killer even more so live. So that's all All I have to say. (laughs) Thanks, John. Thanks guys. Really appreciate it, man. And we want to we want to thank our buddy Chris for letting us take over his place. Yeah, we crashed with him for uh, a couple. He's not of here days. right now. He's hiding <laughs> in his room. But yeah, we want to thank you know, like I said, the fans, right? Like we got Chris with staying with now, man. People that have been with us forever, and yeah, we've generosity been, is just very incredible. fortunate, man. You know, honestly, said, that's the best part about it. We, we got friends, we have comrades, we have a team. You know, I mean, we're all on this together. I mean, everybody breaks their ass and pays their bills and, and puts up with bullshit every day so we can come together and we can do this. We can play our music. People can see us. We can hang out, be with like-minded people and just live life and try to enjoy it because, Have fun. hey, man, you know, the name of the record is when the world dies, right? What's going on around us right now? I don't want to dwell on the subject, man, but shit's fucked up, right? So, you know, you know why not play music and have a good time and create some mob with your friends and have a good time and fuck all that, man, you know? Or try to temporarily, so, you know. But thank you for the support. Thanks for the interview. Yeah, Thanks a lot. Yeah, every, little bit, every little bit of support and help that we get, we really appreciate it, man. Thanks, thanks for your time. Thank you. Yeah.